Mr. Speaker, um, this is, uh, listening to the uh, debate so far has been very interesting. For New Zealand First, we still have some, uh, uh, some disquiet about uh, some of the issues, particularly uh, those that were expressed by the submitters who, who presented their, their submissions in Gisborne when the Maori Affairs Select Committee uh, was, was there to, uh, to, to listen to them. But we, first of all, I just want to acknowledge just how well this trust has operated since its inception uh, in 1899. And I can recall my comments during the first reading of this uh, bill, that if it ain't broke, why fix it? Given the, uh, the, level, the amount of assets that they had, um, and up to this uh, point of time, there hasn't been any uh, major issue. Uh, well, it certainly hasn't been made uh, public. If they, they have, then uh, perhaps that's all the more reason why this bill shouldn't go any further. But uh, we hadn't heard any, uh, any adverse uh, comment about how it's been uh, operating and how it's made its, uh, uh, or how it's been able to increase its asset base. But one of the things that uh, for us in New Zealand first, we're seriously looking at this issue of the quorum. While the, uh, the trust board can maybe made up with uh, up to seven members, um, I would uh, suggest that that may not necessarily be the reality. While it's, it's, it's there available for them, I would suggest that Possibly, in order to uh, do the carry out the, the corporate work that uh, corporates of that of this size normally do, the less number of trustees you have, the better. So I, I would think that uh, uh, they'd probably take the option of just uh, limiting the size of their board to five. But uh, for New Zealand First, with an asset base of 66 million, and with the possibility of just leaving it to three. Uh, trustees, we think that uh, that needs to, to be looked at. And perhaps the, the wording in the bill should be more specific and say that it has to be seven trustees as opposed to it may or no more than seven trustees. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, that's uh, one of the uh, points that New Zealand First is still looking at. The other one, the other point is this uh, the issue regarding the Maryland Court. And uh, while we support the notion that it, it should be left to the Maryland Court to look at the lineal uh, succession of uh, shareholders, we're also conscious of the fact that uh, in a few um, days, weeks, uh, time, or perhaps months, we will be talking about the Te Ture Whenua uh, Maori uh, Bill, which, as part of its uh, intention, actually removes that, uh, that responsibility from the Maori Land Court back to a, a what is regarded as a non-legal uh, uh, or non-judicial uh, entity known as the Maori Land Service. So, you know, listening to the discussion to, today, we're, speakers are supporting the notion of leaving that responsibility to the Maori Land Court. And yet, in a few months' time, we will be back in this House asking that it be removed from the Maori Land Court and passed on to the new Maori uh, Land Service. So, Mr. Speaker, for New Zealand First, we have some issues regarding that. During the, uh, the process of hearing submissions, we uh, heard from some submitters, they are disquiet about some of the, de the decisions that had been made by the, the trustees at the time without 
their, their knowledge. And I'm talking about contributions that were made to certain groups. Now, we're not questioning the, uh, the right of the trustees to, to do that, but, I, but quite clearly there were beneficiaries who expressed a very strong disquiet about their trust making contributions to uh, certain, certain groups. And I think that that is just an example of where the beneficiaries either aren't interested or are not able to keep up with what the trustees are, are, are doing. And I think that as, we, as the intention of this bill is to allow the uh, trust to move into a more corporate uh, uh, area, then I would suggest to this House that a number of the beneficiaries, unaware of the, the machinations of, uh, of corporatisation, mm -hmm. will be lost uh, in terms of the, uh, the decisions that will be made going into the future. We're still of the view, uh, Mr Speaker, that the Trust has been able to uh, grow its asset base to the level that it has now under the system that has existed uh, for most of the time of the, uh, of, of, the, of the trust. And we would suggest that uh, we aren't convinced that at this stage that there I, is a... I, I, I apologise for uh, interrupting the member, um, but the time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is interrupted and set down for resumption next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm on Tuesday the 23rd of August 2016.